After you've got that, you'll want to be able to utilize these. So um, you'll go back to your site, and I've got a site here, and I want to uh, find out how to make these uh, available. Uh, so there's a few ways to do this. Is One is you can go to your... Go back here to this one. And uh, is go to your site collection. As a site collection. Uh, or a site administrator, sorry, because if you're set as a site administrator for that particular site, you should be able to ter manage the term store. And you can do a term store management as, as well here. Now, um, to get those into your document libraries, you can either create a universal site column for your site here and uh, then have that uh, usable at the site level. So I think I've created one in here. Or have I? I guess I haven't. Um, and then th that, those can be used uh, at the site level. So let's go back to my site collect or my library, document library. We can go here to share documents. And another way, of course, is to go to the library setting and just create a new column here. Uh, or you can look right at your library settings, which will show you some more information about the uh, the different columns. And I can create a column here, and if I do this, we'll see that um, I can choose Managed Metadata. What this will allow us to do is have a column which is populated from the Managed Metadata service, and I'll show you that uh, shortly. Now, another thing that you can do is you can add a column automatically for enterprise keywords, which will basically just add a keywords metadata column to it. And that's here. Just by checking this on, it will automatically add that column. So Microsoft has really made it quite easy for us to be able to do this. We can see in my uh, document library, shared documents, if I take the properties on one of these, I have got a number of different columns already set here. So <clears throat> this is just a open uh, column people cannot write anything into. This is a drop down which I have automatically gone in and uh, at this uh, document library and added the choices by manually. This is my uh, managed metadata column. So if I want to add a new term, say for example Lucid, it comes up and the Managed Metadata Service is actually helping me to choose which terms I want. If I don't know which term I want, I can look up in the Managed Metadata Service and see the actual terms that are have been set for this particular column. Um, if you have different term sets, you can choose when you create the column which term set should be looked in. And uh, of course, I can be at several different levels as well. So I've got lots of different things I can choose here. I'll choose Lucid, select it in there. You can have multiple values as, uh, if you want. You just have to choose when you um, when you create that managed metadata column, what kind, how many you want, whether you want it to have multiple or not. It will be able to separate those uh, ter multiple terms um, if you've selected them to be multi multiple in the Refiner web part. And this last one that I have, I just have here as an example. It's actually a lookup column from another list. So. You can do much the same thing that the Managed Metadata Service is doing if you have lookup columns, and it's probably what a lot of uh, systems integrators have done for customers before. Um, the Managed Metadata Service existed, but now it does. There's no point in doing that kind of uh, architecture. So, great. So now I, I got all of this metadata here that belongs to... Uh, that is managed in the Managed Metadata Service. If I do a full crawl again, it, the search engine will pick that up and make it searchable. So if I click on search here, I should be able to do a search for Night Garden and get back uh, search results with this. If I search for something that <coughs> has that ma management and data in it, um, it will actually be returned now as opposed to not being before if it didn't have that on it. And you can see I automatically have this dreams uh, filtering on the left here with all of the different uh, managed metadata values that appeared in that uh, uh, managed metadata column. 
Now, one thing that I said, the gotcha that I said is that if you have managed metadata columns, they're going to automatically appear here whether you like it or not. If you want to remove them, you're going to have to edit the page, go into the XSLT for this and remove that managed metadata or uh, remove it and add a separate managed metadata. So it's kind of an all or nothing uh, uh, feature that if you um, if you have it on, any managed metadata is, is going to come in, and if you don't, then uh, nothing is going to come in. And you have to actually do the refiners in the traditional way of mapping them as crawled properties and exposing them in the uh, the panel here with XSLT. So uh, we do have a another webinar which shows you exactly how to do that so please view that if, if you're interested in doing that if you find that there's a problem with the managed metadata so I will just check out of this one the last thing I want to do is that was pretty much all I had to say about the managed metadata service It's pretty straightforward uh, you can uh, use it quite effectively to manage things I should mention actually uh, tags so if I jump to my site here, you you notice that there is a tag uh, piece on the site, and you can tag pages if you click on the page tag item. This is not going to tag a particular document. So for example, if I click on this document and I click up here on tag on on that one, like on the libraries tags section here, um, it's not going to tag. That's going to tag the whole page. So be careful of what what where it says you're actually tagging when you're doing tagging or users are doing tagging. But if I click this item and I get to the document section, there should be a tag section here and I can or a tag item here. And I can actually um, tag this specific document, it appears, with some additional metadata that I, I want to add to it. Um, so you can add my tags, you can even put a note here as well. And this this will also be aided by the managed metadata service because if I start to tag something it will make me make new suggestions for me here. So that's that's quite cool as well. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show was um, what we do with Ontolica. Now with Ontolica we don't have an automatic uh, managed metadata column lookup. We're, we're considering building something like that in that we can toggle on and off, but we, there's not a really a large uh, need for that right now with Ontelica because I'll just show you how we manage uh, properties in Ontelica now. So we've got, we go to site settings and let's say we have a new um, property that we want to add. We'll just go to Ontelica search tabs in the site settings section, choose the tab that we want, find our ref refiner properties item and just click add new property. We get this page and we type in the name for the page and we choose the property that we want to add and this in this case it's a new crawled property that I mapped to that column which is a managed metadata column but I had to map it because the actual um, value that SharePoint is automatically mapping is holding some other kind of value and it's not actually holding the values of the items in there and you can actually see that if you go if you look at the the value that is automatically mapped which is this one here <coughs> OWS tax ID dreams. So apparently it's mapping an ID for those values which then connects to the managed metadata service instead of mapping the, the value directly. So I had to create a crawled property for dreams and add that here which wasn't too terribly difficult and then I can automatically get that back in Ontolica. And I do believe I have a dreams refiner here so if we jump back to Ontolica and we search for the same item you can see our search results come back with the same refinement for dreams as we had with the out of the box however we now have numbered refiners and of course flashy previews and uh, and other useful things and it's really quite simple to do in Ontolica and it, it always was okay so that's really all I have to show today I hope that you have um, enjoyed the webinar if not been interested in it uh, if you would like to contact us, please feel free. Uh, you can come to our website and look at the products, get a download, a free trial. 
You can also contact Josh or I, my, my co-author for SharePoint 2010 Search. This is our contact details, and we'd be happy to answer any further questions. I think I've tried to answer a few of the questions that came up during the webinar in this session. I, uh, but if not, please do feel free to contact us directly, and we will uh, make sure all of your questions get answered. Thanks very much for watching today, and uh, hope to see you next time.